Hi YouTubers, it's me, Michael Brewer, coming back to you again on this topic of State Representative Sally Kern of Oklahoma. And the video I made yesterday in response to the video I'm Listening, which I called I'm Listening and Taking Action. It has come to my attention that since then, uh, many, many people have in fact heeded my uh, call for action uh, and those of others and written to uh, State Representative Kern, uh, some of them with mod of hate and venom and uh, even threats. And I've got to now reel back and say, wait a second, that wasn't my intention whatsoever. Um, and if any of you have seen my videos at One Man, Two Dogs or uh, Our Boy 28, you'll know that about me. I'm not a hateful person and I'm certainly not someone who believes in taking negative action or even holding negative beliefs about someone else. And so I want to really set the record straight here and uh, remind you of the film uh, Tales of the South by Walt Disney back in the 60s, in which the character talked about Brother Rabbit. And uh, he was walking down the street one day, Brother Rabbit, and heard a voice in a bush saying negative things about him. And it was a tar baby, a baby literally made of tar. And uh, Br'er Rabbit uh, went over and called him to come out of the bushes and, uh, and repeat what he said. And uh, he did. And it was insulting and it offended him. And so he pushed against the tar baby. And of course, as soon as he pushed against the tar baby, what happened? He stuck. And he pushed him again and he stuck with his other hand. Pushed again and he stuck with his foot. And pushed again until he was totally immersed and entangled with this tar baby. And... Uh, became the very thing that had offended him. And so I think it's very important that at this point in time, this very heated and emotional discussion on both sides, that we set the record straight and we talk about how we can approach this in a level-headed and positive and fruitful manner. And so I thought the best way to combat ignorant statements, in my opinion, they were ignorant, is to go through them one at a time and to uh, explain to you why what was said in this speech, whether it was private or public, it really doesn't matter, that was really not just wrong, but it was ignorant. And I do want to say one more thing. The other uh, criticism that has come across to me and I've heard in the public forum is that Ms. Kern is entitled to her freedom of speech, which is, of course, correct. But she spoke in front of about 50 people, whether that was a public or private function, and she is a publicly elected official paid for by the taxpayers' dollars. And I do think that there is a difference between a housewife leaning over a fence and gossiping and saying, talking trash with their neighbor, and a public official talking in an open forum. And so that, I, I beg to differ. I think she should be held to a higher moral standards and that the indignation and outrage being expressed across the nation to her comments spoken in public is, is justified. And so let's go through what she said one, one at one point at a time. Sally Curran said, the homosexual agenda is destroying this nation. Agenda, if you call the fact that gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people are beginning to stand up and claim their constitutional rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, an agenda, then in fact we do have one. But if there is any real agenda going on in this country, it's that of the conservative right-wing Christian groups that have pushed and passed legislation in the majority of states and on the national level that limits those very constitutional rights of, for gays, lesbians, bisexual, and transgender people. We weren't even included in the hate crimes bill, which was actually set up to protect us. Last time I checked, no G GLBT groups have passed a single piece of anti-heterosexual legislation anywhere. So where, who has the real agenda? Okay, it's just a fact, she claims. Ms. Kern states plenty of facts in her tirade here, which has been spoken in front of a private assembly of conservative Republicans in an atmosphere that can only be compared to the Kabbalistic meetings of the Nazis held in Smoky Hofbraus in Munich in the early 1930s, and we all know where that led. She went on to say, not everybody's lifestyle is equal, just like not all religions are equal. Now, actually, in the Declaration of Independence, it says, We hold these truths to be self-evidence, that all men are created equal, and they meant women, too. Well, back then, they didn't mean black people, or, or did they mean women? Uh, well, anyway, let's just go with what it says. Um, that all men were created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 
So, not everybody's lifestyle is equal. I beg to differ. And then she went on to say, You know, the very fact that I'm talking to you like this here puts me in jeopardy, okay? Whenever anyone stands up in public, particularly a public official elected by the people, they should be held to higher standards. And when they spout div divisiveness and lies, when they, then they should very well be in jeopardy. Not personally. I don't believe in personal threats to her or anyone. But their jobs as public officials certainly should be in jeopardy. And she went on to say, and I'm not anti-gay, uh, I'm not gay bashing. <laughs> well, you know, whenever anyone starts a statement like this, with a caveat like, uh, I'm not gay bashing, then you can be darn sure that the very next thing they will say is in fact gay bashing. And this is no exception. She goes on to say, but according to God's word, that is not the right kind of lifestyle. It has deadly consequences for those involved, people involved in it. They have more suicides, uh, and they're more discouraged. There's more illness, and their uh, lifespan spans are shorter, you know. According to God's word, which God? Last count, there were 313 different religions practiced in the U.S., a country that, in its constitution, guarantees religious freedom. Who is to say which God and which word is to dictate the lives of Americans in a country in which the separation of religion and state is embedded in that very constitution? What is an elected government official doing dictating God's word about any sort of lifestyle? America is not a theocracy, at least not yet. And while it is true that there are higher rates of suicide among gay teens, in a society in which people like Sally Karen rule the roost, telling them that they are sinners doomed to eternal damnation isn't any wonder. The governor of Massachusetts, William F. Weld, back in 1993, said, The issue is not about a different way of life. It is about life itself. I know that every teacher and every parent in this commonwealth fundamentally agrees that no young person, gay or straight, should be driven to take his or her life because of isolation and abuse. This is a tragedy we must all work together to prevent. We can take the first step towards ending gay youth suicide by creating a an atmosphere of dignity and respect for these young people in our school. Well, that's certainly not what this Miss Kern is all about, is it? And one reason that she might be right, that, sh that lifespans are shorter for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people, is embodied in the tragic ends met by people such as Matthew Shepard, Brandon Tina, Wendy Barry Rinchel, J.R. Warren, Danny Overstreet, and so many, many others. All killed for being different as a result of hatred whipped up by people expressing opinions in public, like those expressed by Ms. Kern. She went on to say, it's, it's, it's not a lifestyle that is good for this nation. Hmm, let's see now. The right-wing conservatives like Sally Kern and her ilk have had control of the USA for the nearly eight years now. Let's take inventory. Where do we stand? Well, we are quagmired in useless, unjustified, and costly wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. We have alienated most of the free world which we once led. We are the, now the USA is like the laughing stock and pariah state of most of the world. We are at the beginning of a major recession because all the money being pumped out of the nation to fuel those wars. The USA is the only Western nation with no national health care system. Twenty to twenty-five to fifty percent of all teenage girls now have STDs. Those aren't gays. More than half of all marriages end in divorce, and I could go on and on and on. Face it, after eight years of rule by the conservatives, America is the sick man of the world. And I think it could be argued that the lifestyle that Sally Kern advocates, which has had its turn at bout, has proven to be no good for the nation.